So here's the word of advice. Don't ever tell yourself that you don't have time to exercise, that you don't have time to take care of yourself. That is probably one of the biggest misconceptions and misleading thing that people can do. And I understand that some people feel like, no, Mike, really, I don't have time. I got this going on, this going on, this going on. Hey man, I get it, but here is your solution. <laughs> Here's what you do. Take seven minutes. This is, this is how you do seven minutes in uh, seven in Chinese, you know. So seven minutes and get it done. Seven minutes is all it takes, okay? Is seven minutes better than doing 30 minutes? No, it's not. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's not. Okay, 30 minutes is better than seven. All right, is one hour better than seven? Yes, it is, and etc. But if you do seven minutes, you know what seven minutes can do for your body and do for your mind? <gasps> a world of a difference. A world of a difference. I am telling you, I swear to everything, okay? I've been training for so long and there are days that I can't do an hour workout. Maybe because my body is just too tired or I don't have the time. <laughs> you know, it happens. I get it. But we can always do seven minutes, okay? Think about the amount of exercise that you can do in seven minutes. If I was just gonna say, hey, do push-ups and do squats and just do, let's say, 30 seconds each. As many push-ups as you can in 30 seconds and then go to squats and do as many as you can in 30 seconds and then go back to push-ups and then just keep doing it that way. Think about how many push-ups and squats can you do, you know, just in seven minutes. I mean, let's just think about it, you know. If you're a freaking, man, you're a machine, you know, you can knock out like 40 push-ups, you know, in one minute. You know, that's like, that's like, three minutes times 40, that's 120 push-ups, just in push-ups, right? And then if you can knock out 40 squats in, in the four minutes, that's 160 squats. 160 squats and 100 and, and how many, uh, 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 320, 340, 40, 40, 40, 20, 120. Man, I'm trying to do math right here. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of volume that you can do in seven minutes. Even if you did less, it doesn't matter. Even if you only did 30 push-ups and 30 squats in seven minutes. That is better than doing nothing and your body will feel it. But not just your body, your mind will feel it. Do this every single morning. Do this every morning before you start your day and your body will feel energized, it will feel refreshed. Your mind will be more relaxed. And then when you operate throughout the day with a more energized body, with a more relaxed mind, you also have more clarity. You also have more creativity. You also are letting go and it's harder to get stressed. Why? Because your body's relaxed. You know, because your energy is moving around. Stress can only happen when energy gets stuck. It's like a pipeline and you got all this gunk and it gets stuck right here. And this area right here feels painful, you know, because it's stuck. So then what we do with exercise, what we do with these movements is we open it up. Now energy is flowing, there's no stuckness, it feels great. So that seven minutes is gonna change up your world. And for you guys that are working out for 30 minutes a day, when you do have to skip your workout because you don't have the time, doing that short seven minutes is gonna keep you consistent. Because as we all know, consistency is better than doing long workouts only once in a while. Every single day is the most important thing. Get it done, do something, all right? So try it out, do it today, every single morning. Last thing, do it first thing in the morning, okay? If you wanna get it done, do it first thing in the morning because that is prioritizing, prioritizing yourself before everything else. Before checking social media, checking messages, and checking Facebook. Yeah, don't do that. Take care of yourself first.